try to make people understand why they should be opposed to SOGI 123 and therefore why they should go out tomorrow, October 20th, to the voting polls in the municipal election and vote for anybody that opposes SOGI 123. So to start with, who am I? Okay. So for those who don't know, you, know me, I am uh, Jen Smith. You can see that from my Facebook profile. Uh, I'm a transgender identified male. And I'm always very clear to underscore the male part of that. What I am not and what I can never be is a woman. A woman is an adult female, period. Um, this is a very important uh, distinction. So um, in our society today, it's getting very uh, confused out there. And language is uh, one of the things that is being used to uh, deliberately confuse people. And uh, I have said many times that language is being used uh, alternatively as a crowbar and as a truncheon to get male-bodied people into previously female-only private spaces and programs. So making sure the language uh, is straightened out is important, and that plays a role in this whole SOGI123 thing as well. Um, so uh, whether you are a, uh, a man or a woman or a boy or a girl, this is something that's uh, determined at the chromosomal level. Okay, It's a physical thing that's uh, immutable and unchangeable. Um, if you say that a, uh, a man can be a woman, well, then you're opening up all these private spaces uh, um, that previously were protected for women. And this is exactly what we're seeing in society today. So we have seen now uh, men being admitted to uh, uh, women's prisons and uh, men being admitted even to women's rape shelters. And this is all because of this language game. Okay? So we need to get it straight that um, I'm male. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here is I've adorned myself in um, clothing and uh, jewelry and symbols that are traditionally associated with the opposite sex. Now, that's gender. All of these symbols and stuff that I adorned myself in, uh, this is gender. Okay, um, Gender is in the mind. Okay, the Sex is in the body and it's immutable. Gender actually is something that's uh, not immutable. It's uh, flexible. Um, I get into uh, trouble with some people about this because I actually do believe gender is fluid because it is in the mind. And what you see is that gender uh, expectations and roles and what is considered masculine or feminine changes over time and it changes from culture to culture. Uh, so gender is, um, is a psychological state that's constantly in flux. So the philosopher uh, Heraclitus once said that uh, all things are in a constant state of becoming. And I would say that this applies to uh, gender as well, because gender is in a constant state of uh, becoming, um, because it's in the mind. So we need to get this uh, straight, that I'm a male, okay? And no matter what I wear, no matter how I present, I can never be a woman. And boys can never be girls. And uh, why would we uh, say anything else or teach our children anything else? Unfortunately, um, that's not what is happening in our schools now with SOGI 123. 